Why should we hire you? Because I need a job and having money is always a good thing. When recruiters ask why they should hire you, they're looking for one thing, fit. In other words, why are you better fit for this organization than anybody else? And whether you will work at this organization for a reasonable amount of time and so on. That is what the interviewer is trying to figure out. And to make your life and their life easier, focus your answer into these four categories. Results. Speak about something you achieved that proves you're a great fit for the job. Role. Elaborate on aspects of the role that attract you. Organization. Focus on the company. Why is it a good place to work at for you? How are your values aligned with your organizations? And personal. Something fun or unique to you. Use this as a cherry on top of your answer. Speaking of cherries on top, towards the end of this video, I'll also give you tips on how to deliver your answer in a way that will make you stand out from the crowd. This is the video part of our interview question series, where we provide you with templated answers to the most common yet difficult to answer correctly interview questions. If there's a specific question you want us to cover, let us know in the comments. We got you. So number one, let's start with results. Nothing is more compelling than results. The proof is in the pudding, as someone put it. So use this question as an opportunity to mention a specific achievement that's relevant to the role. What is the company looking for? What are the qualities they value? What was the first responsibility they listed on the wanted ad? It's very important for you to align your achievements with the language used. You don't need to repeat things word for word, but for example, if they are looking for someone detailed oriented, your accomplishment should showcase that quality. Here's an extra tip. Most resumes are one or two pages long. That does not leave a lot of room for context or storytelling. Use this chance to do just that. Give more context to show just how impressive your accomplishments are. You want to impress the interviewer, leaving them with the sense that you can know what to do in this role. If they miss out on hiring you, they're going to miss out on some incredible results. And use the STAR method to keep your answer organized. Situation, task, action, and result. And if you're unfamiliar with the STAR method, here is a video that goes over what the star method is and why it's so powerful in an interview. Make sure to check it out. I suggest focusing on one big accomplishment instead of several small ones. But if you do not feel comfortable with that, or maybe you don't really have a suitable accomplishment, you can list three or four things that you did that align with the responsibilities of the role. For example, if I'm applying to work for a YouTube channel, I could say I was responsible for producing a YouTube series on interview questions that resulted in highly engaged viewers. Remember, the interviewer is just trying to figure out if you can do the job, and this question is specifically asking you if you can do the job well. Think back to the job listing and give them a reason to hire you. By the way, if you've gotten value from this video so far, please consider liking, subscribing, and make sure to check out tryformer.com where you can practice on interview questions for thousands of different companies and get AI-powered feedback on your answers so you can quickly improve and land that dream job. Now, along with results, you can also mention how this role is perfect for you. The focus here is tying your interests, values, and experiences to the role. You can point to specific example, like I've had 30 years of experience making video content content or something more general. I love working on video production teams. Think of roles as a way to build upon results fit. Not only can you do the work, but you also are made for this position. Like results, this could be a great chance for you to elaborate on past experiences and how much they prepare you for this role. You can also speak more about how your current job aligns with the role in question. The key here is to answer, why is this specific role the best fit for me? You can get really creative here and talk about specific skills you gain during your career that align with the role requirements. For example, if the role requires someone that is detail-oriented, you can speak about experiences that build up these skills over the years. Your goal should be to have the interviewer walk away thinking, whoa, this hire just makes sense. It's like everything they've done so far has been leading them up to this point. When it comes to role fit, your response should cover the following points. Any relevant experience that ties directly to the role skill requirements or responsibilities. How the role aligns with your career path. Specifics about the role that attract you. Your answer does not need to cover all those three points. But the more comprehensive your answer is, the better of a fit you will appear to the interviewer. Here are some examples. I spent the last 15 years making YouTube videos. I'm looking to transition my skills from making one-off videos to making a mini series. This role allows me to flex my creativity through video storytelling. Unlike the previous two categories where the focus is on you, organizational fit is more about the company itself. Here is where you can show off how well you know the company. One quality that all recruiters appreciate is preparedness, and for good reason. Doing your homework on the company shows that you are taking the interviewing process seriously. That doesn't mean to go to their about page and just recite everything that you've read. What will score points is if you can pinpoint specific things about the company that you admire. They need to be niche enough where it can't be found through a simple skim through their homepage, but also not that obscure that a recruiter would not know about it. An easy way to get this type of information is by checking recent press releases by the company, specifically looking at mentions that are relevant to your role. Take note of interesting articles and jot down a couple of things from them that you found most impressive. Even if the recruiter did not read the article, you can always mention where you read it. 
giving you instant credibility. Not only will this show that you have a vested interest in the company, but also that you are on top of all industry related news. The key here is to show that the company you're interviewing for is doing all the right things and that you truly believe in them. Their values align with your values and having concrete examples will really help seal the deal. The last category, personal, is mainly to add a little bit of personality and flavor to your answer. It should not be the focus. Instead, think of it as a way to add a little bit of humor and memorability to your answer. It should come at the end of a well-articulated answer where at least one of the other three categories are addressed. Personal fit could be anything from the office being a five minute walk from your house or even that you heard that there's a great employee discount. Use this to end the answer on a fun note. This is completely optional, but I highly recommend it. Being a little quirky or tongue in cheek towards the end of your answer can help the recruiters remember who you are. Remember, that's very important when they're interviewing tens of people every day. Altogether, an answer should look something like this. Result, role, organization, and personal. I've had a long history with content creation. Most recently, I was responsible for producing a YouTube series on interview questions that resulted in highly engaged viewers. I spent the last 15 years making YouTube videos, and now I'm looking to transition my skills from making one-off videos to making mini-series. This role allows me to flex my creativity through video storytelling. Beyond this, I truly believe in Boomer's mission for helping candidates ace their interviews. And finally, if I'm gonna be honest, Boomer's red is my favorite color, so that's gotta be a sign. Outside of mastering this template and having key points for as many categories as you can, how you answer matters a lot. You can have the best answer in the world, but still lose points if the delivery falls flat. Confidence is key for a strong answer, and the best way to build confidence is through practice. That's why I suggest you head over to tryformer.com, where you can practice on questions for thousands of companies, and you'll get AI-powered feedback on your answers. That way you can quickly improve so you can land that dream job. Please let me know in the comments if there's something that you'd like me to cover. I usually get back to them within one day. And as usual, good luck with your interview. Check out the rest of our channel for more interview tips, including things such as improving your camera and audio setup.